Shalom, sis. Most high in Christ, bless. Introduce yourself. Shalom, most high in Christ, bless. I'm Sister Anaya from the House of Captain Gideon, Boston, IUIC. All right, sis, I have a few questions for you. All right, there have been a few first-time events in IUIC Boston in 2022. Mm -hmm. What day or moment is going to have the lasting memory with you? So what stands out the most to me for first for 2022 was the Boston Blitz this year we did. That was pretty epic. It was a lot that went into the planning. Us sisters, we had to rally together, come together to make all the men comfortable, to make sure that they had what they needed, to make sure every, to assist the men in making this day monumental for Boston. And I did all of that with like, my back was like, something was wrong with it. I had the most excruciating pain that week, that Wednesday before that weekend began. But the most high, he came through and was able to make me pull through and I was able to assist and put on my brick and be everywhere they needed me to be and assist everywhere they needed me. Uh, many, um, the men of IUIC do everything. Um, we appreciate everything that you guys do. Um, the sacrifices that you guys make um, in order for you to bring out the word to the lost um, within our nation. So we're grateful for that, how you guys balance your personal life with your spiritual life um, and never make it seem like it's a burden. So we appreciate you guys for that, for sure. Honestly, I would, the, the main thing I would say is like the sacrificing, sacrificing the time, sacrificing, you know, their lives, um, livelihood when they go out on this the streets, camp, anything can happen. They sacrifice, you know, spending time with their families, you know, risking their jobs, you know, just the sacrifices that they make for us, you know, to go forth and preach the gospel and compel souls to come in. To me, that's the most um, commendable thing that I can think of. So I'm most appreciative for that because that's really what drew me in in the first place, and hearing the, the voices of the prophets. So, all praises. Nada? The same, um, the fact that the men are fighting the cases, risk their lives to avoid our nation, and you know, like she said, risk their lives. I think the best way for me to show the men that I appreciate them is by actually putting um, their, their teachings into application, you know, trying to work on myself to be better so that their efforts could be worth something. To work on. So I would, I would agree with my sister, um, just making sure that I'm staying in the spirit, uh, making your job as easy as possible um, by um, doing whatever it is that I can to assist and whatever I do in service for women, um, doing it heartily up into the world. Because the way they act on the streets, uh, how they go and twitch. And I think, like I'm, I'm a wife, I think if I'm in the spirit to uh, get everything ready for my Lord, He will be out there and be available to do the work for the Most High.